so many things. What are we doing today? A mukbang. A mukbang, and what else? And we're doing some taste of some beers. But we ran out of time for pumpkin ales. So we're pumpkin doing beers. Off- pumpkin beers are already out. Yeah, which well, it's what day is it? It's we ran October out of time. 12th. It's October 12th, and we're too late for pumpkin beers. Are you f-ing with me? Yeah, so unfortunately, we do Oktoberfest. Like, you know, so we got Oktoberfest. A few of those. We've got some pumpkin beer. Bum, 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 bumpkin. Bumpkin. Some bumpkin, bumpkin beer. beer. They bumped the shit out of you, bro. <laughs> pizza's almost here. About. We've also got pizza on the way. I'm so excited. Not just a pizza. We got garlic knots. Ooh. And some cheese sticks. Go get beer number one. Pizza will probably be here by the time we're back. And we're going to be back. <laughs> We're here. We've got our oh, appetizers, our appetizers. We've got some nice. Wait, what? Are those garlic knots? Garlic knots. Ooh, okay. Right, right. What else do we have? Don't we spill some, anything. We got some mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Some marinara. Marinara. <laughs> and we've got Tampa Bay Brewing Company. Pumpkin ale, gourds gone wild. Clever. Kind of like the beginning of this video. That's clever. We already cheated and dug into the mozzarella sticks already. I'm digging into one of these. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Give it back. Damn. Mm-hmm. I booped you. <laughs> oh, this one is kind of beer too. Sorry? <laughs> I mean, this mm. had a beer too, so. Oh. Are you ready? Oh. Um. I try to wait for mine to deep fizz a little bit. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going. It's pretty good. It's kind of light. It's kind of sweet. It's all right. It's a light ale. Interesting. Did we mention that we're beer experts? Um, beer? It doesn't pair well with the mozzarella or the marinade very much. We could have picked better food to pair with our mukbang, uh, but. What? Sorry? We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> we just didn't do that. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. 10 out of 10. What do you give it? And then eight. An eight? Wait, let's see how it tastes after I take a bite of this. Let me see. I'll give it a, I'll mm. give it a five for pumpkin Bad. beers. I'm giving it a five. Hey, am I the only one eating these? Yeah, you're just scarfing them down. You're not even sharing. Mm. Shit. Eating all my food. I'm a slow eater. I'm a princess. Hmm? I'm a princess. <laughs> you heard me. Ready to chug this so we can go on to the next beer? Oh shit, let's go. Yeah, um, put the food down. Just go in with your fingers. Doesn't matter. I beat you. <laughs> I beat you. Cheers. Cheers. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> fucking like slam it. <coughs> That's not fair. I was I won. choking. Nope. I was choking. Oh, That's what she said. That's not what she said. That's not what she said. Next on our beer list is what is this? Let me. I got this. You found it. You can present it. What is it called? Oh, this is the uh, Sailfish Oktoberfest. You've heard of sailfish. We put these treat. these non-watery ice cubes because it's not really that cold yet. Yeah, it's but pretty warm. It's not warm, but it's not like it's warm. Alright. Ooh. It's like an amber bock almost. Pairs pretty well with what we're eating too right now. Do you have any spooky stories to share? 
So when I was a kid, we used to live in Wichita, Kansas. And I remember my parents found out that me and my brother, I have a twin brother, we were living on an Indian burial ground. And so I remember my Which, dad. Yes, we explored an old Indian burial ground. Mm -hmm. I'll link it in the description below. But no, listen, this is the creepiest thing ever. I remember being a kid. I don't know if my brother remembers this at all. He, I don't think he does, but I do. And I remember every night, because my dad, all, he used to always work late. And every time at midnight, we used to have a little fireplace and there's a mantle. Kind of like, like that? Yeah, we had like, like, right back behind Just me. Like but we that. had like statues on there. And every time at midnight, there's one that used to fall over. And I'm like, Mom, what's going on? Like, my mom could never figure out. Like, every time at midnight, that statue would always fall over. And then I remember waking up screaming because I would hear footsteps on the roof. And my Did dad. Did it ever break? Mm, -mm never broke. I remember my dad. I remember screaming to my dad because I remember hearing footsteps on our roof and my dad thought there was something on our roof and he went in his whitey tighties <laughs> with his revolver going out in the street looking for somebody on the roof and there's nobody there. And that was the creepiest thing about our house. And I would I would have the worst dreams. Like it was it was it was pretty intense and and I remember screaming from mom every night, like she'd have to come sleep with me because I was a scared little kid and, <laughs> and my brother, my brother, I don't think he was affected by it like I was, but I feel like Eric is very sensitive to the supernatural. Have yeah, you like, ever been that's been supernatural? You always like you get affected, like you do get like stressed. Mm -hmm. For anniversary, we went to St. Augustine. Yeah, I Remember, was just gonna say that when we went in that room, the that isolation room, room. That one room, I had the worst anxiety ever in my life. I was freaking out. I couldn't breathe. I had shortness of breath, and I had to get out of there. Remember, I told you I had to leave. I'm like, I had to, I I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. And you're acting normal. Yeah. I wasn't. No, I don't think I'm affected by anything mm. like you. I've never, I've never really had like real ghostly supernatural experiences. I've, I went to summer camp at this place that was said to be a little bit haunted, but like. Where in Miami? Yeah, I was in summer camp when I went to Deering Estate. So here's, here's the whole legend has it with that. Do tell. There was a house that was built I, and I don't even remember the dates or anything like I'm such a horrible storyteller there was this house that these people lived in right and then this family that built the Daring Estate mansion they came and they built their house and it was like Indian territory and Here's the horror story that all the camp counselors would tell us. The kitchen of this house that the original settlers built, there was this like uh, thing in the floor that you could pull the floor up and there was just like this little crawl space. Now, I mean, logically. It's a handle. Yeah, handle on the floor and you pull up the, I'm this horrible at storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> and, it looked like it was like probably like a pantry type thing in the floor. But legend has it that the Indians came in to kill them because they took their land. And the family had to hide in this little crawl space. And they murdered their dog and their baby in oh. that little crawl space. It's crazy. Because the baby and the dog were crying and barking. And that would have given up to the Indians where the people were hiding. So they killed their baby and their dog in that crawl space. It's the same. Yeah. Horrifying and like not a hundred percent not believable. Like even if it was like they were just being robbed by like burglars, like that could happen. It's like so you know me, I have sleep paralysis really bad. Do explain your sleep paralysis. Okay. So one of my worst nightmares I've had. And they start drawing this shit, this shit because I used to you be should. a drawer. I used to draw my emotions. I used to draw everything. I used to be a poet. You should. Remember this dream I had? We were just we just moved in here. And I had this dream. What this new apartment? Yeah, right here. I told you about this. Like I, I remember, I, I was don't like, remember. You must have told me. I, was I know. Listen, me. like you were facing that way. I was facing this way, right? I had a dream that when I looked towards the doorway, which is right here, and this is the doorway that's right here. There was this fiery, 
this woman that came through the door had like a nightgown on, white nightgown on with red fiery hair. And then she came at me with like, and started strangling me. And then she started choking me in my sleep. And that's when you like start nudging me. And then I woke up, but I was like grabbing for you to wake me up. I was so grabbing like another you. terrifying thing about all of these things that he talks about. I know when it, it usually wakes me up because he starts breathing weird and twitching and like it, it's crazy. It's scary. It almost looks like he's having a seizure and he can't breathe and like I have to wake him up and it's almost one of those things where it's like don't wake up someone who's like sleepwalking which I could somewhat like compare that to because you are like you know that I'm trying to wake you up. I can tell. Which I'm surprised I don't sleepwalk because I have lucid dreams really bad. I don't think I've ever... You do sleepwalk sometimes, but that's when you we go to bed drunk. It's crazy. I think it's time for us to get our second beer and we'll Let's continue this conversation on sleep paralysis. Smell that cumin? Jesus, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I love cumin. <coughs> I got ranch. Wait, did you get a bottle opener for this? Oh, fuck. So we got distracted. Um, what are we rating this Oktoberfest from Sailfish? What? We got distracted. Selfish? Sailfish. Selfish. Oktoberfest. No, I rated it a 10. That was really good. Actually, Drinkability, really good. 10 out of 10. Yeah, Flavor? Good. What? 8 out of 10. No, 10 out of 10. Drinkability because it was light. Because you're a lightweight. <sighs> I'm not lightweight at all. All right, let's check this guy out. Let's check this guy out. What is this again? It's the Claw Hammer. Claw Hammer. Claw. Claw Hammer Brewing. No, Highland Brewing. Oh. Seasonal Claw Hammer October. So Claw Hammer Oktoberfest is the name of it. It's a Marzen Lager. What does Marzen mean again? Marzen's like a... Brewed from wine. Well, yeah, it's brewed from wine, but it's like more of like a... Meaning it's sweeter. Okay, yeah, what she said. Are you... You tried to school me on that the other day. I've been drinking, man. Then I get bigger Shit. cups. Shit. Cheers. Almost has that, that brandy smell to it. Not really. Lighter. Oh, ooh. Ooh. It's, it's good. good. It's really good. It's good. So, uh... We were talking about your... Sleep paralysis? Yes. So I talked about one story. You were talking about the, when we first moved in here, your, one of your first dreams, and I was facing one way and you were facing the other way and there was a big fiery person. Mm -hmm. Was that it? So what happened is I remember, I thought this was real too because I looked over and you were sleeping, you were facing that way. I remember grabbing you because I seen somebody through our door, which is right here, the door right here. Some like lady in a white gown with fiery red hair. And as soon as I looked at her, she jumped at me with her hands like this and started choking me. And that's when I started breathing really, really heavy. And that's when like now I grabbed over no, no 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 listen, I grabbed over to you. I was shaking you, please help me, help me, help me. But I remember talking to you the next day and you said like, no, you're just breathing heavy, so yeah. I just nudged you and I, I woke you up. But that's not how I saw it. It's like, I remember just shaking myself. That's scary. Away. That's almost like that scene in Insidious where um, the dad murders uh, Lorraine, the medium. Mm -hmm. But he said that he saw it happen, but yet what the film depicts is him doing it. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Spooky, ooky, spooky. That's when I was, as a kid, when I, when I used to, dude, the worst dreams of my life was in that house when I was in Wichita, Kansas, when we... You the know, one Indian on the Indian Barrel mm -hmm. I just remember. Is that the only place you ever lived in in Kansas? Yeah, that's the only place. Mm -hmm. And I remember my feet used to get tickled because I used to have my feet. Boys, No, no, listen, listen. I used to have my feet out the blanket like this. No, that's everybody's worst nightmare. And dude, this is why I used to get so scared. That my brother would never believe me or my mom or my dad, nobody. But I remember like just sleeping and then I remember... Getting my feet tickled. I remember like human hands just like tickling my feet. And I get so scared and I yell for my mom. And my mom had to come into my bed with me. And I, this one was like five years old probably. I remember that when I was a kid. 
What would you do if whenever we have kids one day, they came in the bedroom and said some weird fucking shit like that? Like, I believe them. Let's see some, but like, what would you do though? How Protect the fuck out of them. Yeah, but anything? what would you do? Like, what would you do? Where would you, like, would you go in there, bust in their room, see what's going on? I mean, what if we ever? I were call like, Zach Baggins. <laughs> I know, right? I call oh, Zach Baggins like a motherfucker. Ghost adventures. Hey, come do an adventure in my house. Mm-hmm. You need to get these ghosts out of here, bro. So tickling the feet. When I was in Girl Scout camp in Miami, there was like this campground that we would go to, and I remember you had to be like a. I don't think you had to be a certain age to stay the night. Maybe you did, but um, I remember there's just one summer where we did it. And I was only allowed to stay a certain night because I was a very rambunctious child. I had right. ADHD growing up. I still have ADHD, but I was I was a really bad child. So I was only allowed to stay one night per my mom. And I did. And I remember the older girls in our cabin because it was like mixed uh, troops together. Like it was our troop. And then it was like a handful of other troops that were like our age. And then there was like a few like house moms that were like the moms that would stay and that was the thing I told my mom I was like you are not but she did she was there <laughs> my mom was one of the house moms um fair enough fair enough honestly as I'm older fair enough but the legend had it there was a pink lady that went to cabin number whatever number we were literally in or maybe it was the one next to us I don't know it was some specific cabin, some specific bunk number. And I remember being such a little bitch. I tried scaring that girl that was in that bunk number. And I was like, yeah, because the, the legend had it if you were wearing like pink PJs and you had pink um, like blankets, the pink lady would come and tickle your feet at night and <laughs> she would wake up and you'd have like these bloody scratches. I was such a little fucking mm. bratty bitch. I was like, yeah, look, you have pink on your bed. She's going to get you. Nope. Jeez. Oops. Sorry. I mean, my grandmother passed away. You know, when I wanted you to meet her, mm-hmm. I remember she, she always visits me in my dreams, too. And she gives me a warning sometimes. What was the last thing she did that you thought was a warning? And what was it a warning for? More so, like, I don't know. Like, it was, it was really weird. Like, she visited me in my dreams... And she told me, Eric, get your shit together. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I mean, get ooh, your ooh. shit together. Yes! <laughs> you did. You got your shit together. I <laughs> caught it. No, but like, it's just it's just weird. Like, she would randomly visit me in my dreams and just be like, Eric, you're going to be fine. Like, because I was very close to my grandma and you could never meet her. And I wish you would have. I don't know. It's just crazy. It's crazy how dreams work. And it's crazy how, like, I can just go in my dreams and control what's going on. Like, I have lucid dreams, like a motherfucker. So I, I go in my dream and just like, like, hey, this is fake. Like I remember having a dream of my mom and I was calling my, I was calling my mom out. Like, no, you're not my real mom. This is all a dream. And I start questioning my mom in my dream. Like, oh yeah, when was I born? And then my mom in my dream could not answer me in that dream. Isn't that, isn't that fucking weird? That's another thing, just like Insidious, where... Um, it's like, cause the, I knew what was going on in my dream and then that entity or whatever it was. Remember the, the scene? insidious where the wife kept asking the husband questions and he didn't mm-hmm. know the answer to it because it wasn't him. Oh, it fucking creeps me out. I was only thinking about that. Mm-hmm. I know. Being haunted by demons. Honestly, I feel like you are very sensitive to the supernatural. Mm-hmm. When we did our ghost hunting video, um, I took so many, I tried to take pictures, I took so many pictures that night. The amount of pictures that I used for, like, evidence as far as whether they were an orb or a speck of, like, dust you know, this in the wind. This one is St. Augustine, right? The only pictures that had orbs in them were the pictures of Eric. And then the only picture that had uh, that apparition that I believe I caught on camera, you were, like, off in the background somewhere, well, which listen, was super weird. But this is in St. Augustine, right? What? In some of those pictures. No, I'm talking about when we went to the parking garage. So any anytime you would take pictures of me, like trying to do the ghost adventure thing, I would get like really weird feelings. I would get like irritable, and I would get like really um, upset, or I don't know. It was just weird. So I just have to walk away. It's just weird. I'm telling you, boy, you are sensitive to the supernatural. Whether you believe it or not, maybe we sound like total quack jobs, but. 
You're a fucking I think quack. You're a quack. I think it's time I chug my beer. And we move on. That's what I had to do. To the next. Very smooth. I like this one. I, I rated it 7.5. 7.5. I'm going to rate it. The drinkability for this one. Uh, give it like an 8. It is a little sweet. So if you don't like sweet, you're not going to really like it. But yeah, go ahead and eat my crust, please. I'm going to make myself sick. I always make myself sick with pizza because it's so fucking good. But overall, I'm going to give this about a nine for a Marzen because it is not as sweet as most Marzins that I've had, which I do enjoy that. So welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is, is the do? old O'Fallon o o o salted caramel pumpkin beer. beer. I've never heard of this. I've never heard never of this. Heard of it. Never the heard guy of that at Total Wine either. and More suggested this, and we have like three different pumpkin beers from that. So we were late in the game with the pumpkin shit. So this is one of the ones it. that he recommended. You got more. You got more. Anyways, <laughs> um, so this stuff is what we're trying right now. We're gonna talk. We're gonna have a little chat. Um, hold on, let's take a little taste real quick. Mm. Ooh, that's like candy. I can only. I cannot drink one more. That's not like mixing one. well with that. Pork but that's pizza. really good. It's like you're having an apple. You're taking like a bite of an a apple. caramel apple. Mm. That tastes like a, wait. Anyways, let me ask you a question. Mm. Let me ask you a question. This is so good. Hey. Ask me a question. Ask, ask me. So do you, ever, do you ever wake up to me having my crazy sleep paralysis convulsions that happens? Yeah, I just said that What earlier. do you think? What do you think though? Like it's what happens? terrifying. I, I know what's going on. I know exactly what you're dreaming about. Well, you said like you happening. said like I have breathing like I'm like so breathing heavy. So here's another thing that people uh, who say that they experience sleep paralysis are actually having sleep apnea. That's a thing. I definitely feel like you will suffer from sleep apnea one day. But like another conspiracy in all that would be that like. People, like sleep apnea only happens because of paranormal events, which I say very lightly because I don't 100% well, believe that, so but the, it's said. If you guys notice, right here, right, this right there, 1923, oh. that's when this place yeah. was built. Yep. And there was an old story from our neighbors that live above it's us. It's not even an old story, it's a six-year-old story. It was so, six years ago. Oh, six, oh, six, oh, it's six years ago. I forgot about it's that. It's only been six years. Some guy killed himself, right? Or no, he didn't killed? kill himself. He just died of natural causes. But he died in the bathroom that is right above where we sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Which we hear loud noises all the time. But they also have a big pit bull, and he is very not excitable. A pit bull. He's not a pit bull. He's a oh, he's a ridgeback. It's always prancing around. We can always tell. <laughs> it's so cute. But um, our neighbors have definitely said that they've heard noises coming from you. You don't have to. I'll finish that for you. No, this is good. I like it. It's just sweet. You made a sweet. face. You definitely made a face. I mean, like a this is sweet kind of face. I know, but not a sweet face. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, I know I'm not a lady. I talk with my mouth. Well, I don't care. Our neighbors have definitely said they say that they hear noises all the time in the bathroom. No, oh, it's just crazy ah. to think about how somebody ah. six years ago passed away above us. Where we sleep at night. Where we sleep at night. <gasps> oh my god, and the body wasn't even found for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about that. It took Wasn't he a musician or some shit? Like, he what? was. He was like a somewhat famous in whatever circle mm -hmm. he, you know, played in, in Tampa. And he died of natural causes. I guess it was a heart attack. Um, but what's great about this place, though, we don't, we don't feel, I don't feel that kind of, I don't feel that kind of energy. I don't feel it. I but, feel Positive vibes. But rewind back to the fact that it took two weeks for people to find his body. I know that's that's fucked that's up. That's horrifying. That's fucked up. People that we we live in a house and it's split. It's like a triplex. So this used to be a big house. Big it's house. a bungalow now. So it divided into three quarters. We have one person so, above us, this guy behind us, and then us right here. So it's been like that for as long as the owners of this place have had it, and it's been longer than six years when this guy lived upstairs, and. The people who lived, I guess, in either this unit or the unit next to us 
were complaining about a smell that smelled horrible from upstairs. And it took the people, there's two other houses just like this, giant houses split up into different units. Um, it took somebody in one of those houses across the street to finally complain about some sort of smell coming from this house all the way across the street to, for them to like explore and find this like dead body. And, like, and so our neighbors told us about this. They live upstairs. And I think they lived in the house. I mm -hmm. we have to ask them, but I'm pretty sure because I know that I, I'm pretty sure that they lived across the street before they moved to this house. I want to do another spooky video. I really want to go ghost hunting again. Where should we go next? Well, we're going to St. Augustine. Oh, we're good that way. I want to go down to my aunt. Like, you remember Key West? Like the one doll that's down there. But anyways, I want to go to Key West where that doll is that's kept. Mm -hmm. I know because we never got to go last time. Mm -hmm. I want to go there. Check it out. It's a badass. That's why I just want to get back on the subject of like dreams and stuff like that. It's just. I just want to add that the second time I had planned on ever going to this museum was with him. We never got to go. The first time I had wanted to go. My parents wanted me to go, but they were like, here's some money. Go in the museum and go see it for yourself. They didn't want to go with me. They didn't want to see Robert. What? No, you can't have any. This is really good. It is so good. The pizza is even better, but that's a different topic. It'd be good on that. Whipped cream would be. I think that we should be doing a, um, no, we have a little, a beggar. <laughs> <laughs> what would also be fun to go to, which I don't even know if it's happening this year with quarantine, but. The 13 Ugly Men party that I went to with Caitlin that one Oh my jeez, that would be fun. So that, that's a, a big benefit Halloween party. All, a lot of the proceeds go to some sort of organization. I'm not 100% sure. But it's thrown at the Cuban Club in Ybor, which is supposedly one of the most haunted places in Tampa. Which I'm dying to find another one that we can go to. At least because a lot of these places that are supposedly haunted are not... Easily accessible, they're locked up, they're abandoned, they're in foreclosure, or you, they're just, they're not available to the public, and it's really a shame. Such a shame. Just like the oldest house built in Tampa, or oldest house in Florida? Yeah. Tampa. It's right on the road from us. It's right Don't down like the road from us. It literally looks like the, it looks like the scene in the newer looks like version. Death. It looks like the scene in the newer version of It. That house that just like all the other houses are around it are like new and updated and this one house is just run down and just old and terrifying. I'm like, that's the place. Yo, off subject. Do you remember the time I told you about my dad? He used to ride dirt bikes on Charlie Manson's property. Hmm. Yeah. So my dad, he's, he's from East LA. California. California. Both your parents have your parents yeah. have had quite the wild. Life. But my dad, my dad was before he married my mom, he was married to this Spanish lady. Her name was Pam, and they rode dirt bikes on this farm that my dad came across. <laughs> and it was this abandoned farmhouse just in the field somewhere. How long had your dad been riding on this property before he knew that it was um Charles that Manson. was his first time. I mean, that's his first time he ever came across it. Then, uh, then afterwards, he found out that was Charlie Manson's. And what he did is like his, uh, what do you call it? It was like, like cult house. Like, cult yeah, house. cult house type shit. Cult house. Yeah, yeah, and then my dad found out about that, and he's like, he's, he got freaked out. That's crazy. Okay. Difference between you, and your dad, me and your dad. I would have gone back, been like, what's going on? Because I'm a psychopath. Have you met my dad? <laughs> <laughs> I have. Shit. I have. No, that's nuts. I've honestly never had any kind of like I'm craving that experience one day. I want I want to see some like crazy shit, some crazy supernatural shit. The goal, this channel that I have, is to go stay on the Queen Mary, and do a vlog. I think some of the funnest videos that we mom. do. Oh, little baby, it's what's Or else on vacation. I'm not gonna move on to another beer. No, I can't eat more pizza now, full of shit. I'm not eating any more pizza. We had more beers 
But we're tapping out. We're tap, 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 tap. We had more beers to review, but we're definitely tapping out. We're full. We're so full. Oh, that pizza and pizza garlic and knots, knots and, and cheese sticks. And the mozzarella and the marinara. Mozzarella and the marinara. I was so full. Ma'am, ma'am, how do you feel about astral projection? <laughs> Ma'am, how do you feel about Halloween? Oh, distracted? Yeah, me too, always. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.